As the sun rose, the dream making began. Ah, <laughs> sunrise, Ando. Are you ready? 601, not much fun. Is no, no, no. Yeah. 602, make dreams come true. OK. <laughs> Give us a goodie. It's from Alexei Biovich. It's my dream for you to get a New York slice of pizza and explore the sewers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style. I love it. It's early for pizza. <laughs> Luckily, there was a 24-hour pizza joint that I know of. No surprises there. Come on, mate, it's just for emergencies. You're the only ones open, yeah? Yes, we're open 24 hours. You're pizza the best. Anytime. Hey, time. Hey, thank you. Enjoy. Ka Kawabunga, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> The problem was, every manhole in New York City is welded shut. No! Right. And after checking 25 different manholes... Oh! <laughs> yes! It doesn't go down very far. It was going to be a tight one. But for Alexi's dream to come true, we are both going to have to get in there. <laughs> if we get stuck... <laughs> if we get stuck... This will be an amazing Timmy O'Toole. <laughs> I don't know why the Ninja Turtles do this. It's very awkward. <laughs> Hi, my name's Mark. Uh, a few years ago, I went to the Statue of Liberty. I did not love it. My dream is for you to tell someone lining up to see the Statue of Liberty not to go and for them to save the time and have a better day. <laughs> so it was down to Battery Park and the Statue of Liberty so we could make Mark's kind of negative dream come true. Are, were you going to see the Statue of Liberty? Yes. You think of doing it? I don't want to, certainly don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not, it's not great. I'm still going to go. Still going to go. Okay. No, that's fair. It's your All choice. Right. Yeah. Are we going to go? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we try it again. It's very choppy. Evan's Some boats never come back. And now I think I still want to go. Oh, really? really? Gee, people really wanted to see that wonder of the yeah, world. But after explaining to this guy just how long the boat too. trip out there can be, we finally had some success. So a chance that you won't go or... I think I'm leaving this afternoon to go home, so if I can go do something else. Yeah. I mean, if it's really that long of a way. Yeah, I'd recommend it, yeah. Way. It's from Ellen Vessi. Yes. I'd like you guys to get a photograph underneath Vessi Street, as it's my family's name. Yep. Oh, yeah, Vessi Street. Everyone knows where that is. Not really, but this cabbie knew, and he took us straight there. Next dream, Rhiannon Johnson had always wanted to buy an I Heart New York t-shirt. $15. Eh? 15 14 50 <laughs> What do you think? $15. 15 14 80 14 90 $14.99. Richard Lemon. Throw a paper aeroplane off the Empire State Building. Please, he said please. Chucking stuff off the Empire State isn't exactly their favourite thing, in the sense that it's banned. But a dream's a dream. So after a long wait and a long elevator ride, a sneaky trip to the toilets was required to find plain materials. With the plane secured in nature's plane rack, just a matter of waiting for the fuzz to clear, and then we were ready for takeoff. Laura Davis. Right. Buying from Tiffany & Co on Fifth Avenue is every girl's New York dream. That is our New York dream too. Do you want to buy me something? No. Well, I'd already bought Andy way too much Tiffany's in my life, so we flipped a coin. Damn heads. You'd buy him something. I'd love a giant You'll get gold what you're given. beaver. Off to Tiffany's we skipped. There are probably two special times in any human being's life uh, when a girl gets her engagement ring and when a guy gets his first life-size statue of a golden beaver, even bigger. I got beaver fever. Candlestick holder. What is this? That's not a beaver. Who wants a candlestick from Tiffany's? There you go. It was meant to be a beaver. You want a candlestick? There you go. It's a present I just gave you. You're Italian? Yeah, you guys love candles. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for giving. Thank you. 11am in New York City, and we'd already knocked off half a dozen dreams, but there were still so many to get through. Riss Sheckler. Okay. Recreate the opening of Friends TV show in a fountain. Do we need to get our outfits? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
know how much money did you steal out of that? <laughs> I got about a buck fifty, I reckon. <laughs> we pulled Mike's stream out of the bag, and it was to play a game of stickball. We had no idea what that was. There is actually a place called Stickball Avenue, <laughs> which regularly has games happening. It's in the Bronx. It's a long way. Like, it's sort of near Adelaide. I don't, I don't feel like we're in very Bronxy clothing. No, but we did manage to find Stickball Boulevard where a guy called Itchy was having a game. It's it's itchy. Yeah, itchy. itchy, how's it going, man? Yeah, um, run me through. What is Stickball? Stickball, okay, it's a city urban game. You get one attempt at the plate. If you swing, you're out. You hit a foul ball, you're out. You oh. chip it, you're out. Oh, really? So yeah. you just get one shot? One shot. Easy. Time to be amazing at Stickball. Oh! There you go. Yeah, it. It's like Field of Dreams. More like Field of Dreams achieved. Very good. Justin can't. Or can he? He can, for him. You boys have to get on stage at a Broadway show. This was going to be tough. Usually Broadway shows just let you sit in the audience. So when we got back to Manhattan, we gave our mate Brad Blanks a call, who's lived here for years and maybe had a hookup. Do you know anyone that works on Broadway, like at a theatre or... Even an usher. Yeah. Uh, I've got an old friend called Jackie. Uh, she's a top lady. She works on the um, show Stomp. This was Jackie, and this is us in Stomp. Our solo! Stand back a bit, because there's a lot of... Gotcha! <laughs> oh, top shelf stomping, everyone. Great work. What a shame it was just rehearsal. <laughs> Next dream was Amy's. Could Hamish fit in his mouth all 40 varieties of M&M's from the famous Times Square store? <laughs> 40. <laughs> 40. <laughs> Making dreams come true. Next up, it was Anna's dream to get a cupcake from Magnolia Bakery because it's in Sex and City, which we definitely knew, of course. Oh, this is... This is like an hour wait. With a queue like that and a lot of dreams to grant, sometimes you just have to buy one off the black market. Can we you please buy one off, the single one off you for 20 bucks? 20 bucks. 40 bucks. 50 bucks. <laughs> 60 bucks. $65. dollars See they say sell, sell it. It's to make someone's dream. Do it! $65. It looks like we've got them, yeah. yes. Michaela Patterson. Okay, Michaela. Hey guys, my dream is to go to Cat's Deli in New York. Oh no. And recreate the scene from Harry Met Sally. When Harry Met Sally. So across town to Cat's Deli we went. But who had to perform? The fact that Andy has Meg Ryan's hair was not a fair way to decide. So we went back to the coin toss. Heads. Mum, look away now. Yes! Oh! oh. All I did was oh. wink at him. And that's what you get. Ariel Davies. Make a rap video. <laughs> well, I'm Hayne B and here's my boy Aileen. We've shortened our names for efficiency. We rap up here and we rap back there. But we never rap with dictionaries. Because that's not fair. Making dreams come true is what we do Dude, by day. But when it comes tonight, it's time to party. Not tonight, though. We're pretty so tired. Come, come through. Come through. Right. Yeah. Just because of all the dream stuff, we probably go to bed early. Yeah. 6.22. Oh, yeah. Just an easy one. Have a nap. Dave Baker. My New York dream is for you to recreate Croc Dundee and grab a tranny by the crack. Come on. Not another recreation. <laughs> it was getting late in the day, and we found a drag bar nearby. But who would be lucky enough to fulfil Dave's dream? Well, we went back to the coin. My New York dream is for you to recreate Croc Dundee and grab a tranny by the crutch. Come on, not another recreation. <laughs> <Hit>. <laughs> so inside Lucky Chang's we went and Hayne met a lovely girl called Jezebel. Are you familiar with the scene in Crocodile Dundee 
where he inspects. I'm sorry I missed that. He was wanting to ask whether he could check your crutch with his right hand. Like, is that... Is that a chance? Is that a chance, I guess? Yeah. Like, I'll take that as a yes. So, uh, good luck. Good to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you, baby. Maybe Blake is my last name, just if you want to be a bit more fluffy. Okay, so entering the zone now. You're all there. <laughs> You're all there. <laughs> I was going to get you to cough, but. Um... 90 minutes of sun left, and back into the dream bag we went. Daniel Fosbury, it'd be great to see you guys run a lap around Central Park. That's got to be a lot of Ks. 10 kilometres to be exact. Maybe we play to our strengths here. Maybe, maybe you look for a food-based one. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying play to our strengths. What does that mean? Well... Why does your strength involve a strength? <laughs> Andy was right. I really needed to be a hero. So I went back into the dream bag and found the perfect challenge. It's a pizza-sized burger. So we split. I went to Central Park and Hamish would meet me there with the mega burger. Do you do the pizza burger? No, I don't have those anymore. You don't have them anymore? When did you stop doing those? Big problem. After some public outcry, the pizza burger was no longer on the menu. So I had to find a spur-of-the-moment substitution. Four Whopper patties? Yeah, there'll be more. Four Whoppers would be more? Give me four Whoppers. Ooh, that's a lot of Whoppers. Cheese? Yeah, sure, chuck some cheese on, thanks. <laughs> off to Central Park for our final showdown to meet Andy and to pull this combo dream off. Oh, I've gave it in four Whoppers, it's a long story. More <laughs> than the challenge, it's more than the dream. You run! Okay, I'm going. I'm run! Going. I'm going. Run! Let's go. With 50 minutes of light left, I set out to cut a lap of Central Park while Hamish tried to down four Whoppers. I have way got the harder end of the deal here. Run well, my life, good friend. He just sits down and has his normal lunch. I'm having crazy flashbacks to the last time I had a food challenge. We came bloody close. <laughs> <laughs> I will not fail. Over the other side of the park, Andy gave up on his Chandler vest, and I was having problems of my own. Oh. The whoppers had begun to affect my central nervous system. I was also getting dizzy, and started to have flashbacks of all the things we'd done that day. I reckon our mums would be proud. Come on, Andy. We're going to dream and get made. 8.01pm was sunset. I was struggling. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Came down his last burger. It's done. And as I crossed the line into his arms, we both looked up at the clock. I didn't make it. Good news, though. I made it. I'm giving us double points for my achievement. I'm going to count your run. I've decided I'm going to count your run as a dream because of what I did. <laughs> a classic four whopper save for a friend that just missed out by seven minutes. It's the oldest trick in the book.